we helped our neighbor declutter and organize his laundry room by installing a floating shelf. We'll show you this easy storage update in five steps. Home improvement. With love. Step one, pick a floating shelf. We were looking for a white 24 inch floating shelf to match the decor for the finished look of the new laundry room makeover. We saw a lot of shelves. This 24 inch wood grain floating shelf caught our eye and the $10 price tag was a great bargain. The only thing is that it wasn't already white and we were concerned with the weight capacity. So we searched on Amazon and found the perfect white floating shelf with a 30 pound weight capacity that could be delivered right to the house. We'll leave a link down below. For this project, you'll need a pencil, level, drill, drywall anchors, tape measure, and stud finder. Step two, level and mark your area. You can use your tape measure and stud finder to pinpoint where you want to hang your floating shelf. With a pencil, you can lightly trace a line across your level to make sure your shelf is even before you install it. Then you can check it by placing the bracket and shelf against the wall. You may even want to place a small item on top just to make sure things won't slide off or shift after you install it. We wanted the shelf to line up with the lines on the wall so it looked right from a distance. You can hold the bracket in place while making your marks. I asked the guys to move the bracket up a little to give more clearance space for the dryer. Step 3. Install drywall anchors. Our floating shelf came with standard drywall anchors that do not open. We like to use these 75 pound drywall anchors so we can drill from the top while it screws in from the side and then opens at the bottom to secure itself to the drywall. Isn't the drywall anchor supposed to be flush with the wall and not sticking out? Yes, looking at the side of this piece of drywall, the anchor should go all the way in until the top is flush with the wall. Hey guys, make sure your anchors are flush so the bracket will fit correctly against the wall. Step four, secure bracket to wall. Some brackets have multiple slots that allow you to secure more screws into the wall. We used longer screws to go through the tile on the accent wall. Because the tile is peel and stick, the installation wasn't hard at all. If you're getting value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button to connect with us. We'd love to have you as a part of the DIY PC family. Safety first, make sure you watch and protect your fingers while working with power tools. Here's a tip, make sure you take your time so that you install your shelf right the first time. During this step, the goal is to make sure your shelf will not sag or come off the wall over time. As you can see from the amount of screws, this bracket makes it easy for your shelf to remain strongly against the wall. After you tighten all of your screws, give the bracket a tug to make sure it is secure. Now you can use your pencil to erase your markings.
Step 5. Attach shelf to bracket. Your shelf should easily slide on the bracket towards the wall. Now you can attach the shelf to the bracket by inserting the screws at the bottom. It's looking good. You did it. Now let's test it out. If you like different types of floating shelves, take a look at how we installed this rustic floating shelf with a bar. We place some detergent on the shelf to test the weight capacity. Then we brought in the washer and dryer and reconnected them for the final look. Wow, I love how this floating shelf looks in this space. Hey guys, before we installed this floating shelf, we did a complete laundry room makeover. You gotta see how we changed out the light bulb from a regular light to an LED circular light bulb. The new light made the whole entire space much brighter. We found a nice dark yet subtle blue and painted both the walls and it turned out great. The accent wall that we're both on right now is actually peel and stick luxury vinyl tile that we put on the wall. At one point we had to use our utility knife to make special cuts around some of the tiles so that they would fit in a straight line on the wall. If you want to see the whole process of how we created this accent wall, there's a link down in the description. Just check that out and you're good to go. During this project, we also installed vinyl plank flooring over a sheet of vinyl tile. The flooring and vinyl tile was updated and modernized once we installed the new vinyl plank flooring. What do you like about it? It's, it looks great. I mean, what I had before <laughs> was just the laundry room, but this looks like a completely new room <laughs> and I don't mind being in it. <laughs> My neighbors are better than your neighbors. <laughs>